Redo it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Adrenaline Motors Force NRCs. And in today's video, I had something that I want to reveal to you guys. I have some stuff that I got in the mail and some progress about my Monte Carlo Subaru TTO2 that I am building. Um, so the first thing I want to do is go over the packages that I end up getting in the mail. So my first package that I got is this one right here, which in this video over here somewhere, I think it's over here. And my Maverick Quantum took it out for my first run, flipped it, broke the axle, lost the hex, wheel hex, and um, lost the wheel hex, uh, the pin for the hex, and uh, broke the axle, and that was pretty much it that I lost. So I reached out to HobbyRecreationProducts.com, let them know what happened, see if they could help me out with, you know, try to get it back to running condition. Because it's an RC that literally I was turning, it flipped, it broke. So I wasn't like, I was mad because it broke, but I wasn't like, yo, you better give me free stuff because it broke and it's your product. It wasn't anything like that. I do understand that in this hobby, stuff breaks, okay? But it's not like I was going full speed, I hit a curb, I ran into a tree, I ran into a car, nothing like that. It was literally, I was turning, it flipped, it rolled, the axle broke, and I lost the stuff. So, but I do understand stuff breaks, and it has to get fixed. I, I get it, I get it, so I get it. Anyway, so I reached out to them, they sent me everything that I needed to get that Maverick back on the road. And one of the things that they did not have in stock at the time was the 12 millimeter hexes. Well, in this package, they sent me the 12 millimeter hexes. I found one of the 12 millimeter, the, 12 millimeter hex that I lost. Walking up my driveway, I ended up finding it, put it back together, good to go. And today I get home and I end up seeing this in the mail, well, this package, and that in the mail, I'm looking like, I didn't, I didn't order anything from them. And then I remember like, oh crap, they told me that they were gonna send it when they had it in stock. So guys, hobbyrecreationproducts.com, go check them out. Guys, I have nothing but good things to say about them. Uh, they helped me out so much with getting the Maverick Quantum Flux back up and running. And I I'm just happy with them, man. I, I can't say anything bad about them. I'm just really happy with them. Uh, they do care about their customers and they want stuff to be done right with their customers. And I can't complain about them. So that is the one thing. Uh, the second thing I end up getting in the mail is this right here. As you guys can see, I got the wrench for the suspension, shocks, coilovers, whatever you want to call them. And I got this on Amazon, I believe for like 25 bucks or something like that. And I have got to tell you, I am happy with it. It looks decent. I haven't tried using it yet, but uh, I can tell you. Uh, material wise aluminum it's made out of aluminum it looks like it is a really nice piece to use um, once I start using it because I just received it in the mail today too once I start using it then I will know you guys will end up seeing in one of my videos I'm actually going to use this to finish up the Tamiya TTO2 um, super rally car that I'm working on with the uh, yeah racing 55 millimeter suspension that I'm putting on there so that video is going to be coming out soon with that car being done um, and hopefully the body painted because I bought um, spastics blue paint. I'm kind of hoping it matches the Tamiya paint that they call for for that body. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to work out. The other reason why I got this one and I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can see where I got it from. They are affiliate links. So if you guys click through them, help me out. Um, by clicking them, they are, again, they are affiliate links. So they're safe links. Uh, I did get this on Amazon. 
Uh, it also brought this tray that is pretty nifty. This is a magnetic uh, tray here, which I'll show you guys. So, so this all has magnets on it, right? That, as you guys can see right there, has a magnet there. I guess it's not a magnetic. Either way, it looks nice. <laughs> I thought it was magnetic. Um, so anyway, I got this. I think I got it for like 25 bucks for these two pieces. And um, it looks like it's made really nice. It really does. Um, so yeah, that looks really, it looks really good. The other thing that I have been wanting to talk to you guys about and let you guys know um, so for the past couple weeks, like really last couple months, I've been debating about uh, the name for the channel. Um, when I first started this channel, I was heading more towards the cars, um, like real life cars. I'm not talking about RC cars. I'm talking about real life cars. Uh, that's where I was heading towards. Um, and like my first videos, that I have, I'll see if I can put a link up here, uh, which is a, one of my first videos that I posted up. I was going more towards the cars section, but um, financial wise, I wasn't going to be able to do it. So I decided to, you know, since I love cars so much and I love the RC hobby, I'm going to move into the RC hobby with this channel. And to me, the name for the channel is great. I love it. But to me, the name for the channel does not really represent what this channel is about. Um, so uh, I have been thinking about for the past really couple months has been the name for the channel. And I have been going back and forth between the new name and Adrenaline Motorsports and RCs. And I feel that the new name, which is going to be revealed in a little bit, I feel that this name is going to better represent this channel. So without further ado, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new name for the channel. As you guys can see, RC Car Garage. I am stoked. I am excited about this new name. Um, I do believe that this name is going to the new name for the channel, that it is going to help me out and it is going to be better suited for the channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like the new name and uh, that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> um, I'm Again, I have been just overwhelmed about changing the name and uh, I, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that this is the right move for me, for the channel, to uh, change this name to RC Car Garage. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, so, I do have some progress that I have done with the Subaru, the TTO2. I really have been waiting on this so I can finish the TTO2. Um, and I got to paint the body for it. Um, that's pretty much where I'm at, everybody. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the content that I'm making out for you guys. Um, and welcome to RC Car Garage. And I hope you guys like and share. I mean, please, by all means, share these videos. Let everybody see what we're doing here. Um, and everything. Uh, I believe, you know, with news that's coming out with four RCs and everything, and I'm sorry that it's so dark, the, the lighting isn't that great. Um, I apologize. But um, I believe that with the uh, news updates and everything coming out for new RC products that, again, the name RC Car Garage is going to be the better suited name for the channel. So, Guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys like this channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, please subscribe.
please share. Please hit that notification bell. Thank you guys. And you guys keep our seeing. You guys have a good one.